Hello everyone, and welcome to another beer review. Okay, look at that beautiful hair. Um, so today we're back on the Scottish series. Oh bloody hell, here we go. And, uh, I'm trying to get through these, I really am. Um, we're on the Bellhaven Brewery again. <laughs> and we're on... 80 shilling, there you go. Bellhaven, 80 shilling. Oh God, what's this gonna be like? Um, 3.9%, roughly about two pound a bottle. Special selected, rich, smooth, rounded. Oh God, that's shit in the back. I mean, there's spill in the back. Right, the shilling names Typical of traditional Scots ales refer to the historic wholesale price of a cask. 80 shillings were top shelf stuff, so only the best ingredients are used in our classic 80 shilling with three local malts and two hop varieties creating a rich copper coloured beer with malty, toffee and soft fruit character. Well it always sounds nice. You read the bottle, and mm, that sounds quite nice. Well, they can actually deliver it. First problem is clear bottle. Jesus. <sighs> Why? If you know basically your product, okay, it depends obviously on the amount of hops and everything else and that type of stuff, because it's basically the, the UV light reacting with uh, certain chemicals from the hops that causes light strike. Um, basically, and, uh, or skunked is the kind of more common term. If you know that you're basically the product you're going to be selling is susceptible to UV light and you increase the risk of your product being, you know, deteriorating because of UV light and especially if you put it in a clear bottle, what brew in the right mind thinks, I'll put it in a clear bottle. What's the worst that can happen? Seriously, you do, you do wonder about people, you really do. You think, let's not, I mean, if it was me, my thing, well, let's not take a chance. Okay, it might not be the best look, aesthetically and everything else, for marketing purposes and everything else, but I'd rather people buy a beer that's actually of far better quality inside the bottle than it looking a better product outside of the bottle and then be a complete disappointment in a bottle of piss inside but that's me you know it's the, the the main point is what's in the bottle and is it drinkable and enjoyable for the poor person that's actually paid the money for it you know but anyway let's crack it open oh, and see what happens put in a stackable no airs and graces for a Scotch 80 shilling. Well, there's plenty of effervescence anyway. Jesus God. Oh, there's a cabbage smell. Seriously, you bastards. You absolute bastards. Yeah, it's like straight. For fuck's sake. What is the fucking point? Seriously, what is the point? Between Green King and these bloody idiots at Bellhaven, seriously. Thick as shit. What, what, what's the point? Oh, bragging, oh, you've got two types of hops, so we've got double the amount of bloody reaction we can get when we put it in a clear bottle. Fucking fuck with Anyway, this is what it looks like. Bit of finger and a half head. It's quite effervescent. It is quite kind of copper colour or kind of like... Dark amber. And it's died down a bit, but it was getting strong smells of cabbage. Straight off the bat, boof, the buzz was pouring it, boof. There you go. And I'm still getting some cabbage. Getting a bit of malt as well. But what's the point, seriously? They really, you mean, you'd have to question any brewer nowadays because it's not just as a case as though it's more of a 
a problem now because of all the fluorescent lighting and everything else you're now getting in uh, supermarkets and how they store things in their warehouses and everything else. You're more susceptible to UV reaction now than anything else. So really it's it's critical that you don't put it in a clear bottle but these idiots they just keep on doing it because they don't give a, a crap about the product. They always sit there and don't give a crap about the punter. Oh, who cares? It looks nice. Who cares? I mean at the end of the day we just want them to buy it. We don't, we don't give a shit if they like it. Yeah, but if they like it, they might buy it again. Ah, doubt it. Yeah, it must be that type of conversation. As long as they buy it once, that's all that matters. Jeez. But yeah, cabbage, light malt, bit of sweetness, no hops. Not really getting that much grain either. And that's it. But yeah, getting... And when I say multi flavours, I'm getting slightly hints of toffee and a bit of caramel. That's when I say multi flavours. When I say multi flavours, that's what I mean. I don't mean multi flavours. Oh, biscuit! <laughs> no. Never. Right. <laughs> Let's taste this. Jesus God. Oh, Christ. Oh. oh, well, dear old Belhaven, they never let us down. If you want a watery beer, then Belhaven's the one to go for, seriously. It tastes like watered down wort with a hint of cabbage. I'm not going to waste any more time. That's just dreadful. It's bollocked. Absolutely bollocked. It's well scumped. Right. What would I give this out of 10? Because it's buggered. It's absolutely buggered. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to give them 1 out of 10. It's all they bloody deserve. Putting your beer into that bottle. You're running the gauntlet. And guess what? You get caught. So, 1 out of 10. And I'm only giving you one because the bloody thing exists. It's undrinkable. It's just a waste of bloody time. It's a waste of everybody's time. Seriously. I had a rant and rave the last time I, I did Bellhaven. I thought, right, I'm not going to do it this time. And I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Because what's the point? I mean, it, it just seems to be Bellhaven epitomises disappointment. It's what it used to be in the reputation I had in the past. It's long gone. Seriously, it's long gone. It's just dreadful. It really is dreadful. And I've had people say, oh, I've had this on tap and it's really nice and that. And think that, well, that's great. You're a lucky person. Because at the end of the day, if you had it on tap, then it wouldn't be light striked, would it? But the problem is the idiots have put it in this. So what's your excuse for this? What's your defence saying, oh, well, it's lovely in a tap. Well, it's shit in a bottle. It really is. Utter shit in a bottle. Look at the state of this. It's just... Uh... Right, one out of ten. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye for now. Don't bother buying Bellhaven. And I've still got ones to go through. It's, it really is. It's an, I'm running a gauntlet here. A gauntlet of piss beer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. And bye for now.